Well, I'm still hanging out at uh, the fish, learn no, no, learn the fish program at uh, Sandbanks Provincial Park, and people are catching lots of fish. Oh, I got, a, I got one! Oh, look at that! Woo! <laughs> what, what's going on today? So we're doing a learn to fish program. It's a two-hour program, and it's free for all the participants. We travel around and deliver this, as we're also stationed at Six Provincial Parks. So we do 45 minutes of talking and that covers all the basics from rules and regulations to fish identification, how to rig a rod, how to cast it, and then we get everyone suited up in life jackets and give everyone a rod and bait, and then we take them fishing for an hour. Is there anybody that doesn't want to touch a worm today? <laughs> we see fish off the dock. We haven't caught any yet, but we see them. You put your toe in the water and catch one here. <laughs> Everybody's getting excited. There you go! You got one, Gwen! Hey, the big question is, uh, do you fish? Yes, I'm an avid fisherman. That's all right. So really you're an expert. I uh, I, I guess you could say that. <laughs> yes. So who's caught the uh, biggest? Probably me. Are you an expert angler as well? I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I enjoy being outdoors and fishing and for leisurely activities. So. Oh, she's a little humble about <laughs> it. But as for numbers, it probably goes to probably Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I go fishing every day before work and after work. So you fish full time. I and teach people time. how to fish. Yeah. Wow. That's a great job! My buddies uh, that I fish with, I, they, I told them where I was going today, they're like, uh, learn the fish program. Yeah, it's about time Kevin took a program called Learn to Fish. So what, what do you think uh, people get out of the, this program? Um, they get a great experience and they get to be out, outside with nature and just enjoying everyone's company. So I think that's a really big thing. I think the best thing is seeing people walk away with uh, more, like a, a better respect and understanding of, of na and natural resources in Ontario. And you, do you see that that's changing? Yeah, I think so. At the start of the program, a lot of people don't understand that there's a lot of catch and release. You don't want to eat it. You don't want to eat. You can like release it to sustain the population. Um, they don't know what the fish looks like or how many different species of fish. And afterwards, when they're actually fishing, they're casting by themselves and they're identifying it by themselves, you can see it working right away. So I just like when someone's first time fishing and they pull up a fish for the first time and they're so excited. It doesn't even matter how big the fish is. It's just the fact that they caught something in the water and it just their eyes just light up and they get so excited, especially for the kids. Sometimes they don't even want to reel it in. They just pull that rod all the way up and just see that fish there and they get so excited. So yeah. It's huge. <laughs> it's massive. And you caught the first fish. This is the second one I caught. Really? You got the first and second fish. <laughs> okay, how's it going? We just got a little bluegill here. There you go. Uh, actually, no, it's a pumpkin seed. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, what's it like working with uh, Connie? Connie is great. He's full of energy. He's the life of the party, pretty much. So he's a great employee to work with. Oh, is she making fun of me? You said you're the worst person to work with. You can't fish. Ah. She said you can't fish if you tried. Come on, I think you tell anyone. Don't even know how you got this job. I don't even know either. I got one. Cool, hold on, hold on. All right, then hook it. Oh, awesome, throw him back. Have you ever uh, had one of these uh, going on and someone caught a huge pike or bass? Uh, one, one little boy hooked into a muskie at Emily Park and his reel broke like the drag system was so i guess it was, it was a little wearing so when he started drag reeling it in the drag system broke like the i guess the gearing in there or something but so he couldn't reel it in, and then he lost and just broke his line too so i tried to just grab the line it would snap oh, oh well <laughs> so we oh, just had we got faulty equipment here yeah we had a participant come up and it looks like we are missing the edge of one of our hooks so I think we solved the problem, the mystery of why they weren't catching anything, so we'll go get them a new one. <laughs> I've used that excuse before too. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm always sure blame a lot of excuses. Oh, it's always equipment. It's yeah, never, never the angler. No. How'd you do? I did. I'm sure I didn't I catch there. anything. You didn't? No. Oh, no. What is it? Are we going to go back with another word? Jack, you caught a fish. Oh, he actually he he finally just got, got one. one yeah. Oh, I wish I filmed that. You got one then. He went through four worms. I asked him, I said, was it this big? He said, no, it was smaller than that. I was like, oh, you're not a true angler, I'm, sorry. I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost a du double header. Almost. <laughs> I got another one. Oh, oh this nice. guy's got another one. That's roll. my eighth. All right, bring All right, him in. Throw him in. Throw him in. He's catching too many fish. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. The, the kid over here, he's caught another fish. Wait, I've got a battle wound. What? 
Oh. So, one of the spiny oh, dorsal God. fins, the spiny part of his dorsal fin. Well, That's what happens when you're not careful. <laughs> that guy bit you? No, no it, was, it was the fish that pricked me with his dorsal fin. So, so there's spiny ray fish and there's soft ray fish. Yeah, so there's, yeah, so some fish have both. So the sunfish are, all sunfish have both. They have a spiny dorsal fin and then they also have a soft dorsal fin. They're usually connected. Fish with what? 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 Another? You gotta be kidding! That's my one. What a roll, man! It's the same one, isn't it? Yeah, he hasn't even <laughs> taken the first one off. That's eleven, yeah. Wow. He says eleven. I've only seen him catch three. <laughs> I think I've taught him something. What was that? I caught about three thousand fish in about one minute. <laughs> Spoken like a true angler. That's a lot of, yeah, that's 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 a fisherman there. <laughs> <laughs> We've done good today. Yeah, definitely yeah, taught them everything we know. Video. It's perfect. This is perfect. Look. Here's the, don't, don't oh, put them in yet. Pretty? So here's the difference between... So that's a bluegill, and then that's a pumpkin seed. And then that is a pumpkin seed. You can see the difference. <laughs> so there's no true sunfish then. They're, they're just different they're two, types. They're two different kinds. There's actually largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, rock bass, bluegill, and pumpkin here's seed are all species of sunfish. A... But, but bass are in the sunfish family? Yep. So if I catch a, a sunfish, I can say, look, I got a bass? No. A bass is a sunfish, but like a bluegill isn't a bass. So largemouth and smallmouth are both members of the sunfish family, but that's like a sub, uh, I don't want to say species, but it's, a, it's like a sort of a contingent for them. But it'd be embarrassing if I had a sunfish boat. A bass yes. boat would be better, right? Exactly. But sunfish. if in a bass boat I catch sunfish... It's technically a sunfish boat. Now what if I catch a walleye and I'm in a boat that's called a pickerel boat? Completely different. So pickerel are a species of pike. We have some northern pickerel and some chain pickerel in like uh, the St. Clair, some in the St. Lawrence, but they're completely different species altogether. The walleye look absolutely nothing alike. They're sort of closer really, closer related to perch. And, oh, do you have one? Nope. They're closer related to perch and they uh, have two completely separate, a spiny end, a soft dorsal fin, whereas the pickerel just have the soft dorsal fin, uh, which is like a key trademark of the, well, it's a key, uh, part of the pike family. If I go up to Northwestern Ontario, everyone's got to call their walleye pickerel. Yeah. It's does I don't know. It's a mystery to me. It's like calling a carp a sturgeon. It's not even com comparable. It's tomato, tomato? Nope. It's even, even further than that. Like it's, it's completely different. <laughs> oh, you got a fish there. We got to get him back in the oh, water. Oh, look at that. Can you put him back for me? <laughs> Good catch. That was huge. <laughs> Uh, we need five. the ambulance. <laughs> we got the needle nose. Get the needle nose. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to get the hook out. Not out of a person, out of a fish. Go Keep out. it in with the pliers. We got the hook out. He's good. Now. He'll live yeah, to I swim another him. day. <laughs> no fish was harmed during the filming. Is that a pumpkin <laughs> That's massive. Oh, thank you. How was the fight? Oh, um, pretty easy. You got stuck in the seaweed, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He was the one who was eating everybody's worms, big, fat, greedy, but I got him, and I'm happy. You caught a fish? One? One. One. We got the biggest one yet coming in. It's massive. Whoa. No, why the biggest one? one. Yep. They're starting to sound like anglers, I tell you. <laughs> no, mine was bigger. No, mine was bigger. I caught more. True fisherman out here. No, I got 12, so I think I caught more. All right. Okay, we got a big fish here. It's massive. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so this guy has worms. This little fish here does. You can tell because of the black spots all over his body on his belly. It's a sign that he has a, a, a parasite. Oh, that's... he's a host to a parasite. And will that kill him? Um, no. It'll just uh, it's just very it's not good for him. I'm actually not sure if you can, if the worms can thrive in a human body. I yeah, I know they, they, I they can't. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no, they can't. But, uh, and it's if still you cook it, something. then you're fine anyway. But uh, yeah. do you see that a lot when the water's warm? Yeah, so in, mainly in warm water, you'll see fish have worms. Um, if it's in cold water, then rarely they have, like deep water fish don't usually have worms. Um, but since this is a very warm, weedy area, almost it's kind of stagnant, it's perfect for parasites like that. And slide it on there. I think I heard it scream. Are you addicted to fishing? Yes, just a little. Started fishing when I was one. So what? Who? Uh, who started you fishing? My father. Yeah. Started me fishing in a little canoe and on his back, like a little knapsack, and he passed out for me with my little Barney or Barbie little fishing rod, and then we just upgraded and kept going. Best thing I ever did is when I was 16. Everybody was like, "Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that." And when I was 16, I told my dad I wanted to go on a fishing boat for three months. So I went on a fishing boat for three months and caught mackerel. Best 16th birthday present ever. She's serious about fishing. <laughs>
And so are these guys. Yeah, they're very serious. They're very serious. So Learn to Fish has two parts to it. So we have the teaching program, which is the heart of the Learn to Fish program, and then we also have the outreach program. So the outreach program, we travel in this truck and trailer here, and we go across southern Ontario, promoting it to different um, festivals and events and um, reaching out to new Canadians and anyone that's practically new to fishing. So for more information, we do have a website, ontario.ca forward slash learn to fish. Um, we've got all of our schedules listed. So for the six parks that operate learn to fish, you can find their schedules online. And then if you want to find us at an event, we'll have our event schedule there as well. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> what? What now? I asked of all three of you who catches the most fish. Now, if I asked you, what, we, what, what would you say? Me. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> this is getting interesting. Wait, Wait a second. I asked her who catches more fish. She actually did say Chelsea. Oh, she said me. But I asked Chelsea and she said, well, probably she said her, right? <laughs> but then I asked, <laughs> Wait, what's her nickname again? It's not Conrad. It's Connie. Connie. Don't call I asked Connie <laughs> oh. uh, who catches most fish and he's like, me? Of course. Oh well, yeah, obviously. But you didn't ask me. Okay. I mean, I am the best angler. You ask anybody. No, I'm not really. <laughs> That's why I'm here at the Learn to Fish program. I need it. <laughs>